Counting? Yeah. Hello oh, well, there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, got a, a bit of a, something different for you today. Well, maybe a little bit different for you, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and another thing, I uh, just want to thank you all for uh, the splendid comments on my last video. Something on my lens. <laughs> Sorry about that, being a lens there, a bit of a squeak. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for the uh, pretty good uh, comments there, just there, off the Tesla coil. She was working very well, wasn't she? Excuse the little ball on the top of there, and it's a bit out of focus. Come on, you stupid thing. There we go. Yes, she was working very well indeed. And I was powering, power, powering, powering <laughs> by the 8.4 kV potential transformer just there. So, <clears throat> in today's video, I'm going. I have actually made a um, a driver which is very similar to a ZVS driver, but it's using these smaller package um, transistors, um, just like uh, well, the, the 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 these sort of things just here. They're like an RGBT, but a lot smaller. They're a smaller package. Let's see if I can get this thing to uh, focus in on these. Well, this is the drivers of what would replace a normal MOSFET on a ZVS and it doesn't want to focus in there we go Inkses and these are 60N120D1 and it's got two of these in it and it's got this as the diodes which is the STs 261P IV 400. I think it's a PI or it could be a P1. I'm not quite sure. No, no, it's a PI because the 261 just there. So there's the diodes. And uh, I thought I've got quite a few of these things, so I thought I might as well um, make something out of it. And I've always wanted to make a pretty good, robust ZVS driver. So here we go uh, 1K resistors. There's your inductor. There's your diodes, and there's your small package IBG, IBTs. So, and there's your capacitor on the output. And uh, yeah, all on a nice big heatsink, running through into a flyback. So let's see it. This so it's early days at the minute, guys. I've got a few tweaking to do on this. Um, I would really prefer to have each one run by a separate transistor, but uh, they don't seem to be getting too hot at the minute. So, I mean, like I say, you know, it's early days, we'll see how it goes. So, let me just quickly show you this running then. There we go. Not bad for 25 volts. And they are cold. Yep, completely cold. Thirty volts. to let you know look just to make sure show you so you don't think any of you think I'm pulling your leg there you go look see nothing underneath this is basically what it is yeah it's cold oh right, yeah somebody mentioned what's that on my arm uh, some time ago it's just reminded me it's a scold guys I got scolded when I was seven years old by a boiling hot fat well not scolded burnt, fried. My skin was all hanging down, about a foot down off my bloody arm, near enough. I can remember it to this day. And those two little marks just there, that's where I was one of the first people in the, uh, the Midlands or something to try a bag on my arm. And I pulled the bag down and scratched my arm when I was seven years old and it left two little sc scars. So yeah, that's what that is guys. You can see it look, because all the way around my arm. My nana did it, she didn't mean to do it, bless her she died when I was very young but uh, can't really remember very much about it but uh, yeah that's just reminded me to show you that sorry to bore you there but uh, one of you asked about the scar on my left hand arm so yeah let's see how much current this thing's pulling let's get it up to 30 volts again there we go 
Oh shit, I've got it on AC, like a numpty. 14 amps. Damn. Certainly hot. 14 amps, Jesus. They're pulling a bit of current. Now I've got my shorts on, bloody red hot today. It's not bad actually. Nothing's warm. How mental is that? Bloody hell fire. Could do with a temperature probe in there to show you again to show you that it's um it's not bad at all. I don't even think it's above room temperature guys. That's awesome. So yeah, so there's that. I wanted to show this to a uh, friend um oh I think his name's William, I can't really remember now. But uh he wanted me to show him this, so I'm gonna pause it, connect this to me ZVS driver and uh, power this and just show you this because this is for somebody else guys so you can either leave it and thumbs down and go and watch something else or you can stay watch the videos and watch me just quickly show you this running because he's handing me to show him this running so because he might be having this off me so we'll yeah I'll just pause it <laughs> we'll see right we're all connected up oh uh, Fiora Baker a very good friend of mine subscriber he wanted me to show. He wanted me to show him my compressor because I told him I'd put a picture on Google Plus, but I've completely forgotten. That's my compressor, mate. Go, goes up to eight bar. It's not a bad little thing. One point five horsepower. Does the job. So there you go, matey. <clears throat> oh, my coil. Damn, that runs well. Oh, uh, there's something else I think I had to point out. I can't really remember what it was now. Uh, can't remember. All right, let's just get on with this. Get on with it, Ant. Yeah, we'll do. So let's see how much current this thing's going to draw. I know that it is current hungry, this thing, because it's, uh, it's a bit of a beast. It's only 50 kV, but bloody hell, it's powerful. It likes to make a lot of noise, doesn't it? That's the ferrites. arcing over there as the capacitor dissipates let's get that back onto there yeah you don't want to be touching this guys because this is capacitor it's got a mean capacitor in this thing I think it's about on there properly there we go that should hold that yeah Get that gap opened up a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Oh, crikey. I need to put some underneath of there. There's a bit of insulation. It's actually jumping through the wire. There's that much power in this bloody thing. Let's see if I can get this on there. Bloody fantastic pieces of plastic are like this. They're keeping your wires off stuff. I need to, I need to, I need two hands. One sec, guys. I think that might do it. Whoa, bet you're all going dizzy. Or sick. Mm. This, thing, this thing is bloody hungry, I tell you, for current. That stupid thing. Yeah, watch your ears, guys, it's a bit loud. You can tell it's got a capacitor on it. The more power you put into it, it'll actually turn into an arc. Um, I could do with a chicken stick, but I can't be bothered to set me tripod up. And I could show you an arc, which actually go to it. And once you you get rid of that uh, capacitance 
of an output it's actually turn into an arc and then as you draw it away it'll once it snaps it'll go back into an arc, into uh, a capacitance mode it's, it's it's really strange the setup inside of these things that's why i normally strip these down get the capacitor out and have it as you've seen how these things run because the caps are out all of these because as you can see you get such a and it draws more current as well you can see it trying to go into an arc See what I mean? So if I was to bring that out and draw it more, it would draw more current. You need to run these on IGBTs, a good f full bridge IGBT to get this thing going how it should go. Um, but yeah, I mean, these wires are all right because these are quite thick. Um, these could take easily take uh, probably 10 amps each cable. So, but. Uh, of course, if you're going to be driving it on um, IGBTs and a full bridge, you definitely need uh, a little bit of a thicker wire on those. These are pretty good terminals. Uh, this I'll show you this actual spark gap part of it as well. Let me just pause it and I'll show it you. Right, now you're going to see a difference. Now it's connected. Now this is actually arcing itself out against the ground. You'll see that glow because it gets that hot. There's that much current behind it and you'll see more of an output this way uh, I'm not quite sure about the current draw but we'll soon see Sounds like a dog crying. Let's just check me. Oh, it's bloody cold, Miss EVS is. Six amps when it's an arc. You can hear the uh, variac. You can certainly, certainly hear the variac pulling the current. That is hot. That is definitely getting hot. You see that? I can smoke something getting hot, and it's that bugger. It's dead strange. See, if I had to replace that with. Let's see if I can find it. Ooh. I think I may have put it in another drawer, but I need to show it you because you'll see what I mean by the difference. Is it in that one? Is it in this one? No. That's heat sinks. Is it in there? No. It might be in this one. Oh, come on, you cock. Where are you? It's a good job of this bloody Tesla's on wheels. Is gonna be oh, it's definitely not in there because that's something else. Where the hell have I put that? Let's move this coil out of the way. Come on, coil out of the way a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that 
bloody hell I've done with those guys. That's just heat sinks and rags. I'm sure I'll put it in one of these, you know. I'm not sure that I'll put it in one of these. <coughs> Ah, there we go. This is what used to be there. <clears throat> now that used to be there, you see. There's your inputs, which is those. And these here were these. These two here. Now, underneath, as you can see, where it's arcing out, it would arc out, you see, because this was all once once it's all connected to what it was connected to. You wouldn't get. I mean, these are literally. It's zero. It's, it's one point zero bloody zero of a second of what these are are uh, are used at. Excuse me. And uh, when you're using it like we're using it, it wants to arc over. And um, plus, when this is all connected up to the uh, circuitry, it's going to be connected up to. It's not going to want to do that because, well, we're completely doing different what these are meant to be doing. So, uh, but yes, these connections would be for your current. Um, I'd imagine for your current and your voltage uh, monitoring. So yeah, so you can see why I changed it to these. It's very, very strange. Very strange indeed. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys, uh, something good for you to watch, let me uh, quickly show you that again, because it is pretty cool. ZVS is just, just, just warm. Seventy volts, as you can see just there. Cool. Oh god, that ZVS can take a lot more. I've had it up to 100 volts before. <laughs> Seriously. I thought something was going to go bang, but it didn't. It's always good to have uh, the two um, IRFP 260Ns in uh, parallel. That's a really good circuit, this is. I mean, look at it. If you wouldn't think it would do it, you'd think it would something to go pop. But it runs really well the way I've got it. You know, the center, center uh, pin. And you, you know, this is normally going to fly back. A nice big ferrite ring, and it just runs fantastic. And if you want to uh, try and copy it, you're welcome to. You might have to pause the screen just there and get a few notes up. Let me induct it just there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and be safe. Whatever you're doing. Please rate, comment, subscribe for more. Take care of yourself. Speak again.